There is a major lie that the devil tells people under the age of 50 about their Christian walk with God. Unfortunately, a lot of people have believed this lie, and as such, they have been robbed of their eternal blessings. Over the years, I have seen the devil maneuver his way into the hearts of people by making them believe that they still have enough time to serve God, and they can always serve God when they are older. But in my opinion, this is a lie from the pit of hell. Why? Number one, you must understand that the devil is not a giver of life, so he can't determine how long anyone has to live. Number two, the very essence of our creation is to serve God and honor him with our lives. Now is the time to ask yourself, what and who are you living for? Are you living for eternal things? Are you living for God? Are you living for the here and the now? I've heard people say that I'm going to enjoy my 20s and 30s, and then when I'm 60 or 70, I will get serious with God. Are you sure about that? Tomorrow is not promised. This is the lie that the devil wants people to believe, that I have time. The thing you need to remember is young people die, and old people do too. Healthy people die, and sick people die too. Tomorrow is not promised for anyone. Now is the time to get your life right with the Lord. Wherever you are, you don't have to wait till you go to church or to your pastor. God will hear you this very second, this very minute. Talk to your Father. How much time do you have left on earth? Today is the day you should get serious with God because old age is not promised to anyone. I've grown to hear people saying, I will serve God better when I grow older. I will do this and I will do that. This is the deceit the devil has always planted in people's hearts to draw them back from the things of God. This life is so unexpected. Your plans will not always go to plan. There is a story of the rich fool who made plans for his life. He made plans for his old age. He made plans for his retirement. He made plans for his 401k retirement. But God ripped those plans of his in two. Listen to me. God does not operate on our plan and our schedule. We operate on his timetable and his time. Luke 12 verse 13 to 21. Someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. Jesus replied, Man, who appointed me a judge or an arbiter between you? Then he said to them, Watch out, be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. And he told them this parable. The ground of a certain rich man yielded an abundant harvest. He thought to himself, What shall I do? I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, This is what I will do. I will tear down my barns and build a bigger one. And there I will store my surplus grain. And I will say to myself, You have plenty of grain laid up for many years. Take life easy. Eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, You fool! This very night your life will be demanded from you. Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? This is how it will be with whoever stores up things for themselves but is not rich toward God. This is how a lot of people live their life, as if they have all the time in the world. This story is an example of a man that believed in the lie of the devil that he had time. But without any prior warning, God said, You fool! This very night your life will be demanded from you. No warning, no prior notice. So, I have one question. Are you being a fool? Are you putting God on the back seat so you can indulge in sin? So you can enjoy the pleasures of sin? Are you putting God on the back seat in order to chase money? God describes you as a fool, working so hard and laying up treasure for yourself does not guarantee you long life. Neither does being poor increase your lifespan. You must understand that your wealth has nothing to do with how long you live on earth. Because human life is not contained in the abundance of wealth, we need to ask ourselves from time to time, how much time do we have left? 
Is it 30 years, 40 years or 100? But God in his infinite wisdom has hidden this from us all. We know we will die someday, but none of us know how soon or later that day will come. For some, it came very early, when they've barely begun to find their feet in life. For some other people, they lived longer than they expected, without achieving so much. Nonetheless, this uncertainty shouldn't scare us. Instead, it should teach us to live well by giving ourselves up to the serves of God Almighty. A quote by Paolo Coelho once revealed that life is too short or too long for me to allow myself the luxury of living it so badly. And that is the truth of the matter. Either short or long, life should be lived meaningfully. The truth is, we don't know how much time we have left. If only we knew, we would take life more serious. How much time do you have left? This is a question to ask yourself at all times. I marvel when I see people who live as though they are destined to live forever. All the world is the only place man is created to live in and nothing else afterward. What do I mean by this? I mean, the earth is not your final destination. You still have a home to return to, a home where your input and impacts here will decide. It's now left for you to make your home comfortable or make it a place of eternal pain and condemnation. Mark 8 verse 36 says, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Apart from the fact that no one knows how long they are destined to live, it is also certain that you cannot suddenly begin to do what you haven't trained yourself to do. The Bible says in Proverbs 22 verse 6, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Serving God is one of the things you must teach yourself to do. It doesn't have to be convenient. You just have to do it. Serving God at the latter part of your life is a function of the training you have given yourself. If you haven't learned the discipline of serving God at a young age, it will be difficult to do so later in life because you haven't trained yourself that way. Take, for instance, a man who is used to the strip clubs nightclubs and casinos and all sorts of other engagements all his entire life. A man like this will struggle to change his ways and start to attend church services, prayer meetings all of a sudden, because his flesh will remember that old man in you and it will always want to go back to its sinful ways, its ways of the past. Every sin you have ever committed is remembered by your flesh and your flesh will continue to want to go back to that pleasure. So, when I hear people say, I will serve God when I am older, I always think to myself, they are playing with fire. Sin is not something you should play with, especially when you know it is wrong. Also, according to what people usually say, things don't get easier in the future, and the truth be told, that is exactly the way it is. I want you to think about this. In your personal life and daily activities, the things you push and postpone often don't get done eventually. And even when they do, they're usually not done properly. Delaying your intimacy with God is an act you need to stop from right away because it has no good ending. And in the end, your service to God is all that matters. Every human on earth must come to this realization and give God their all in time to have a good ending. Serve God now, live for him now, and worship him now because you can never tell what the future holds.